Good day to all our listeners. Today, we shall hear a popular drama entitled The Wedding Dance by Amador T. Dagio. This is how the story happened. Our country truly was a rich country filled with many different cultures, traditions, and beliefs from our ancestors. And one of the seed beliefs has something to do with marriage. Long ago, in a mountain somewhere in the Philippines, there was a couple named Awiyaw and Unai. They were married for a long time, but Awiyaw, Unai's husband, has to marry another girl named Madalina. And the reason why, let us all find out as we go on a journey to the past, witnessing what happened to Unai and Awiyaw's love story. Lumnai leaning on the ground. Awiyaw enters and stands behind Lumnai. I'm sorry, this bad to be there. I am really sorry. But neither of us can help it. Why don't you go out and join the dancing women? Awiyaw held Lumnai on her left shoulder. You should join the dancers. As if, as if nothing had happened. Awiyaw stand. If you really don't hate me for this separation, go out and dance. One of the men will see you dance well. He will like your dancing and he will marry you. Who knows but that? With him, you will be luckier than you were with me. I don't want any man. I don't want any other man. You know very well that I want any other man either. You know that, Lumnai, don't you? Yes, I know. It's not my fault. You cannot blame me. I have been a good husband to you. Neither can you blame me. No, you have been a good wife to me. It's only that a man must have a child. You know that I have done my best. Yes, I know. I came home because I did not find you among the dancers. Of course, I am not forcing you to join my wedding ceremony. I came to tell you that Madolimai, although I am marrying her, she can never become as good as you are. You are one of the best wives in the whole village. That has not done me any good, has it? Awiyo held her face, but Lumnai's eyes looked away. He let go of her face, and she bent to the floor. This house and the field I dug out will all be yours. I will give them to you. No, I have no use for any of that. He looked at her, then turned away and became silent. They were silent for a time. Go back to the dance. They will wander where you are, and Madalima will not feel good. Go back to the dance. Lumnai. If I did this, it is because of my need for a child. You know that life is not worth living without a child. The men have mocked me behind my back. You know that. I know that. She beat her lips now, then shook her head widely and sobbed. Lumnai had thought of the seven her best that passed, the high hopes they had in the beginning of their new life together. The day he took her away from her parents across the roaring river, on the other side of the mountain. It was quite an exhausting trip, but both of them were happy. Happy, which nothing in this world can be sure. Happy and deeply in love back then. He was the most beautiful man that she has ever seen. He was strong, and for that, she had lost him. She flung herself upon his knees and clung and cried. Oh, Leo, oh, Leo, my husband, I did everything to have a child, but I am useless. I must die. It will not be right to die. A wee owl hug here in his arms. I don't care about the fields. I don't care about the house. I don't care for anything but you. If you die, it means you hate me. You do not want me to have a child. You do not want my name to live on in our tribe. If I do not try a second time, it means I'll die. No one will inherit my name. And if I fail, 
I come back to you. Then both of us will vanish from the life of our drive. I'll keep my faith. I'll keep living because this time for the love you have for me. And I love you. Oh, 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 Leo. Oh, oh, Leo. We are looking for you at the dance. I am not in a hurry. The elders will scold you. You better go. No. Not until you tell me that it is all right with you. It is all right with me. I do this for the sake of the tribe. I know. He went to the door. Awiyaw! He stopped as if suddenly hit by a spear. It pained him to leave. She had been wonderful to him. What was it that a man wished for a child? Suppose he changed his mind. Why did the unwritten law demand, in a way, that a man, to be a man, must have a child to come after him? And if he was fruitless, but he loved Lumnai, it was like taking away of his life to leave her like this. Oh, Leo, it is hard. She gasped, and she closed her eyes, hurried her face in his neck. Oh, Leo, oh, Leo, come out now. Lumnai gripped Lawson a wee out in sex. Lumnai sat while crying. It is not right. Lumnai stopped crying. I would go to the dance. I would go to the elders to tell them it was not right. A wee was mine. Nobody could take him away from me. Let me be the first woman to complain, to denounce the written world that a man may take another woman. I would still a to come back to me. She made for the other side of the village, where the dancing was but she stopped. What if somebody had seen her coming? She didn't have the courage to break into the wedding fiesta. Lumnai walked away from the dancing ground, away